Well, good morning, beloved, and happy Monday. Happy breezy and cool Monday. God has given us a change in the weather, and only God can make the weather change, and only God can make a change in your life that you need today. Ask Him for the number one change, for one change that He can make in your life. He'll lead you in that prayer. Ask Him for what He wants to do in your life. And speaking of weather, I was thinking this morning about a, a, a trip that we made to Uganda several years ago. Terry Taylor and I went to have a, to conduct pastor's conference in uh, one area of Uganda. And uh, we had heard before we got there that Uganda was in a famine. You know the difference between a drought and a famine. A drought is when it's dry. A famine is an extended drought and there is no food. And they had skipped a whole growing season. It was as serious as I'd ever seen it. In fact, when the, our host pastor picked us up at the airport real late at night and then Tebby, you could almost put your hands around his waist. He had lost so much weight with lack of food. But he was so happy that we were there. Well, we got, we got settled and <laughs> took us straight to our little hotel there outside of Entebbe and, and uh, finally got settled about midnight and about midnight you could hear the wind begin to blow. You could hear thunder in the distance and it got closer and closer. And along about one, two o'clock in the morning, people all around us gathered in their churches and were singing and dancing and praising God for the coming rain and it started raining. And I guess they sang and danced all night long. I went to sleep about two or three o'clock, I guess. And uh, the next morning, our pastor drove us uh, several hours out to the church where all the pastors were to be. But he told us, he said, now with the rain last night and broke the drought and the famine, don't expect very many pastors. In fact, there may not be any because they will all be out there in their fields planting. We've been waiting for this rain and we are grateful. And we said, that's okay, don't worry. We want them to be out there planting. Maybe we should go out and help them. Well, we drove up to that church. There were bicycles everywhere. Then you could hear the singing. There were over a hundred pastors gathered in there waiting for us. And we were surprised when we got in and we said, we thought y'all would be out planting right now. One of them stood up and said, we've been waiting for y'all to get here. We've been waiting for you to get here to teach us God's word. We can go without food for uh, a few more months. And even if we planted today, it would be three months before we would eat. But what you brought for us today, we can eat and enjoy today, please. Teach us God's Word. Wow. Terry and I were all overwhelmed. It was hard to teach for about the first five minutes with that kind of hunger for God's Word. Well, we spent three days with them, and boy, they were just so thankful. And we did a couple of more, and then the night before we left, beloved, it started raining again, and we could almost hear those pastors all the way from Entebbe, hearing them dancing and singing and thanking God that He had fed their spirit and then still gave them rain to plant their crops. May God give you today that kind of hunger and thirst for righteousness. May God give you an appetite for His Word so much that you would even go without eating food in order to eat God's Word today. In the name which is above every name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Make it happen, God. Hallelujah.